Hello everybody, what is up? How are you all doing? I hope everyone is feeling good. I certainly am. I am finally back. It has been a while. Um, I know you will have noticed already it uh, that my video is missing something. Uh, I am not on the screen myself because I am lacking one webcam at this current point in time. Um, I also apologise if I don't sound the best. I am a little bit sick and also I bought myself a gaming headset the other day. So I'm literally just using the mic from that because I don't have a mic either with my new setup. But it's not bad. I got myself some uh, Acer monitors and an Acer computer. So they are doing the job pretty well so far and hoping that things will go smoothly. Anyway, so I figured seeing as how it's been a while, today I'd catch you up on, well, the champions I have, the roster changes, and my alliance changes, I guess, and what's new kind of thing. So, firstly, if we have a look here, you can see that I have four champions in my top four that I do not believe I had last time, and if any of them were there, it was Thor, uh, who is now my fourth lower, uh, my fourth highest uh, behind Ghost Rider, Gwenpool, and Archangel, as you can see there. Now, I'm a massive fan of Gwenpool and Archangel. Um, Ghost Rider's just got heaps high prestige, and he's been pretty helpful for me too as well, to be honest, but I'll go into them in more detail soon. Uh, in regards to alliances, as a lot of you know, I was leading my own for a while. Um, we ended up splitting up for a bit. I... Just wanted to go off on my own, not have to worry about leading an alliance. And then, uh, after a short time, uh, I ended up coming back, starting a new alliance with all with a lot of my old members, and that went pretty well. And then we sort of just hit a rough patch, and things weren't really improving, so we ended up merging with the alliance I'm currently with now, Militia. Uh, they've been great. We're doing pretty well. Uh, definitely a big improvement. So there's, we brought, I think, 17 of my guys across, and they had 13, so it was a perfect merge. And then we adjusted some numbers, and we've had some more people come in. And, yeah, that's going pretty well. So really enjoying our time at Militia and hoping that we can hang around there for a while. Uh, now, let's get into my champions. Uh, first, we're just going to go to my one and two stars. We'll just sort these by hero rating. So... As you'll see, if I slowly scroll through these, you will notice that they are all maxed out. So, I've finally got all of them maxed out, so I don't have to worry about them again. Um, I think I've got a two-star blade coming in from um, the Marvel Insider rewards, hopefully coming in very shortly. I'm also expecting a three-star Morning Star from that. Um, so that should be good. Now, I'll get rid of those filters, and I will sort my champions by rank. So, if I'll just scroll all the way down, and I'm doing pretty well, uh, leveling up-wise and all that kind of stuff. Because I got, like, like I said, all my one and two stars are maxed. I've got, uh, let's go to my five stars quickly, actually. So, there they are, sorted by rank. Uh, as everyone knows, I was going to pick myself up a... Iceman from a featured crystal and as you can see there we are lacking one Iceman So I did a double opening uh, myself. I got the featured Iceman and then a normal basic and on the featured Iceman I managed to pull spider-man symbiote now It was a little disappointing that it happened on that crystal because I quite like symbiote But given that he wasn't an Iceman, I was a little disappointed um, but the, the odds of getting a featured aren't amazing so you know, what else can you expect, really? Um, and to the right of him, you will see Loki. Uh, Loki, I pulled from the basic uh, five-star that I opened, and that was another disappointment, because I'm really not a fan of Loki. Uh, he doesn't have too much going for him. He could really do with a buff from Kabam, which would be great, because um, then I'd have more use for him. And, um, yeah, I was a little disappointed as well, because he stopped uh, one after uh, Classic Spider-Man, and Classic Spider-Man is one of my favourite cam champions in the game, so was really disappointed with the Loki, but overall, uh, looking at things now, I'm quite happy with the Symbiote and my Iron Fist. 
And then a couple months down the track, I managed to pick myself up a Colossus. Uh, it was quite interesting that that happened because I happened to be picking up a lot of uh, mutant champions and ISO and all kinds of mutant stuff. So I had this feeling I was going to pull a mutant. Uh, and it was a bit disappointing because I opened my Colossus the week before Nightcrawler and Beast and Crossbones and those kind of characters were added. And I had a feeling I'd pull a mutant and I really should have waited because if that was going to be the case, I could have got myself a Beast or Nightcrawler, which would have been significantly better than Colossus, who, if you've been watching my channel since the start, you'd know that I'm not the greatest fan of Colossus, but he's not bad. He's all right. But compared to the other five stars I have, he's not exactly what I'd call God tier. Um, really like my Iron Fist. Would love to dupe him. I'd be very happy with that. Um, so yeah, that'd be pretty cool to get. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my five stars. I'm going to be able to get another one very shortly. And I'm hoping that I'm going to do that on a live stream for you guys. Um, I'm also going to do a test live stream prior to that. Because I actually have no idea how live streaming works, to be honest. And I have no idea what I'm doing. So I figured I'd just do a random live stream. Uh possibly within the next day and just give it a go and see what the quality is like, see how it all works and just do some testing so that when we get to the crystal opening, things can be looking pretty good. So I'll get rid of that filter there and we'll go back to this. So I'll do what I was doing before. I'll scroll back down to the bottom. Uh, I've managed to pick up myself quite a few champions. Um, so I'm very happy with the fact because I've sorted them by rank. My only rank one champions are now my five stars. I've managed to take every single two star I have uh, oh, sorry, every three star I have, I've managed to tank to rank two or above. So, pretty happy with that. Got a few rank twos, as you can see there. Then I've got some rank two four stars. Uh, the ones that are there, apart from Black Panther, will be staying at rank two for now, because I'm not overly fond of them. I might take up Abomination at some point in the future, just to 330. Um, but, yeah, Black Panther Civil War will be the one I'll be taking up to rank three next of the four stars. So then, as you can see here, I've got all these uh, two stars at rank uh, three. They're all maxed out. Apologies if you can hear me sniffling. I'm not well, like I said, but I really wanted to get this video out there because I want to get this. I want to get this stuff going again and having a lot of fun with that. So, hope looking forward to live streams and all that kind of thing. But yeah, so yeah, I've maxed all my three stars, and then all my four uh, max. My apologies. I've maxed all my two stars. And then a lot of my three stars I have at 330 or above. I have a heap of 330 four stars here. A lot of good ones. Definitely worth taking up. And then as you can see, if I scroll through these, I've maxed about half of my three stars. I currently have every three star in the game. Except from uh, Vulture... Morningstar and Blade, uh, not including this month's champions, obviously. But yeah, I managed to pick up myself Mephisto. Uh, where is he? I don't think my Mephisto's dupe. No, he's not. So I managed to pick up Mephisto in the arena where he was out. But since then, uh, I've just been that busy that I haven't really been able to get around to arena. So I missed out on Morningstar and Blade. But like I said earlier, Morningstar will be coming in through the Marvel Insider Rewards, hopefully. So I won't have to worry about her, but... And Vulture gets added to the Crystal soon, so... Hopefully I'll be able to get him. And then we'll just be waiting till Blade comes around again, or... Maybe his, uh... Featured Crystals come out. I was gonna get some, but, um... My units have taken a hit lately, because last month... Uh, last month, I tried taking on Realm of Legends. Got pretty far through, uh... Got to Wolverine, and... Just wasn't having it. I just couldn't get... Uh, gu guillotines, uh, heal reversal to proc, uh, to go on at the time of Wolverine procking his regens. So I spent, I think, about 800 units reviving her and my team trying to get him down. But in the end, I just went, nah, this isn't happening. So I went out of that and then I tried taking on uh, the monthly event quest, master mode, uh, and the boss rush challenge. And I just couldn't get either of them 100% because uh, Mephisto is a real pain to fight. But I tell you what, when I get him, he'll be a champion. I'll definitely be taking up as soon as I can. Would love to pull him as at least a four-star, but a five-star of him in the future, I reckon, would be pretty cool. So anyway, uh, if I continue to scroll up, I have 16 
R for four stars. So we've got Spider-Man down there. And then right here, as you can see, are the rest of them. Um, I have to say, of all of them, if I could, if Rank Down tickets came out again, I would certainly be taking Deadpool back down. Uh, the only reason I took him up is at the time of doing that, I only had him and Colossus. And, well, I more enjoy using Deadpool, but now that I think about it, Colossus would have been the better choice. But, oh, well, that's all part of the game, learning what you're going to use your resources for and how efficiently you can use them. So yeah, as you can see, I've got Ghost Rider, Gwenpool, Archangel, Thor, Superior Iron Man, Yellow Jacket, Wolverine X-23, Vision, Drax, Magic, Black Panther, Iceman, Guillotine, Captain America, World War II, Deadpool, and Spider-Man. Uh, I have to say, I think my favourite of all of those is going to be Gwenpool. Um, really excited to say, I'm just going to go over to my catalysts right now. So, I'll just... Filter this for my tier 4s. I currently have 5 tier 4 basics. And then if we look here, the top 3, I need 1 more to get a rank 5 champion. And the bottom ones, I need 2 more. So, looking pretty close to a rank 5. And if I go to my crystals, I've got a mad crystal opening coming up very soon. If I go to my crystals, I have all these uh, Alliance Quest crystals. Because I don't actually normally have this many. So, hopefully these can get me some good luck. And if not... I have this fully formed tier 4 class catalyst crystal that I pulled, uh, that I got from the Gold Bloom event. I finished that today, so that could be very helpful. Um, probably hoping to pull a skill from that, and then I'm very close to another one. So I'll go back to my fragments in a minute. If I scroll down, you'll also see my awakening gem. So I'm not really sure what I'm hoping to pull from that. Uh, I'll talk about that when I get back to my champions, but we will see. And then I think that's pretty much it. Nothing too interesting. If I go over to my shards, as you'll see, I currently have a few premiums, a three star. I uh, will have. I'm going to wait till I have two four stars uh, to do the video. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the five star crystal. I've put a poll on my Twitter, so I'll have a link for my Twitter in the description below. And if you could go and uh, vote in that poll for me, that'd be great because I'm very close to having enough shards for for a featured, and very conveniently, a champion that I do like that happens to be out at the moment, is Stark Spidey. So, I'm considering going for Stark Spidey, but at the same time, I kind of want to get a premium uh, five-star crystal because I really want to get Gwenpool or Hyperion. But the odds of me getting them probably are a lot less than pulling a Spider-Man from a featured. So, I might be tempted to go for the featured, and then that means I could get Mephisto, who is a character, obviously, given how much I struggled against him, I'd love to get for myself. So yeah, if you could go onto that poll, I'd really appreciate that and give me your feedback. I mean, even in the comments below, if you just tell me what you think of that and I will make a decision accordingly. So go back here. Uh, so I think ideally I'd like to pull a skill, like I said, because I'm very close to having another one already on fragments alone uh, because that would mean I'd be able to take up my, uh, my Gwenpool to rank 5. Um, uh, the Science are pretty close. Cosmic are pretty close. Mutant, still a fair way off, and Tech and Mystic, I'm nowhere near really at this current point in time. But if I pull one of them, then I'll be getting close to those as well. So I'll sort these again. And I think uh, if we're talking rank 5 in champions, uh, given that Magic was probably my MVP for this month's Gold Bloom event, if I was to be able to take up a Mystic, it would be Magic. Uh, Cosmic, uh, well... I've had Drax, uh, not Drax, sorry, uh, Thor and Superior Iron Man have been around up my top uh, champions for so long. I kind of feel like a change, and someone who was uh, my MVP in the Web Slinger Challenge was Drax. So if I'm to take a rank, uh, Cosmic to rank 5, it'll be Drax. Uh, Vision, Age of Ultron will be my tech that I take up, because uh, I have a Star-Lord, who everyone would say I should take up, but he's only 3.30, and where is he? Currently unawakened. So as you can see, it's just by my Ant-Man there. So yeah, currently unawakened. If I pull a Tech Awakening Gem, maybe might go to him, but I'd probably be tempted to save it for a Stark Spidey that I might pull in the future. Um, so yeah, if I could take up a Tech to rank 5, it'll probably be Vision, because he's been really helpful for me with a lot of quests and things like that. Um, if I'm to take up a Mutant, that's probably the toughest choice I'm going to have, because I'd love to take up X-23, considering how much damage she does, and she's got regen, so she's really handy for quests. Uh, where you want a champion to last a while and you'd be using less revives. But at the same time, 
Archangel just deals insane amount of damage, and I use him a fair bit. And then there's Iceman, who everyone knows how great Iceman is. Probably one of the best characters in the game. So, Mutant, I honestly actually don't know what I'd do with that for now. Uh, and I think, uh, lastly, if I could take up a Science... It's probably going to be Yellow Jacket. I actually only re I only got him to rank 4 about a week ago, and I that was just after I duped him. So, I think at the moment it's looking like I take Yellow Jacket up to rank 5. So, plenty of good options for rank 5. There's still plenty of champions I'd love to pull, because I only have about half of the 4 stars available in the game at the moment. So, plenty more that I could get, and plenty of options there. Now, let's talk Awakening Gems. If I'm to pull... Uh, let's just filter my four stars, and we'll start with Mutant. If I'm to pull in a, a Mutant Awakening Gem, uh, right at the moment, I'd possibly use it on Iceman, um, but Iceman doesn't really need to be awakened. All it does, as far as I know, is it just puts the Cold Snap on your opponent as soon as the fight starts, so that'd be very very handy against uh, strong evade champs like Spider-Man Classic or Nightcrawler. Uh... Then you got Storm. She might uh, get one because she deals insane amount of damage, but that'll probably be down the track if I was to take her up. So yeah, not really sure mutant-wise. Uh, in regards to skill of the champs I currently have, uh, there pro there really isn't anyone that I'd be awakening here either. Uh, that's probably another one I'd save maybe for a champ like Blade or someone like that down the line. Uh, science. Well, I don't know. Captain America or Spider-Man. If I want to throw Spider-Man on defense, then I'd definitely do that. Um, I, I'd also consider... A lot of people would probably think me crazy for it, but I'd also consider putting it on Ant-Man because when he is awakened, he's... I find him pretty hard to fight when he's awakened and leveled up a fair bit, so I might take him up and then awaken him and put him on defense because it is quite a pain to fight him when he has a high SIG level. Um, Mystic. Uh... Again, I don't know how much Guillotine really needs to be awakened, so if I wasn't going to awaken her, there probably wouldn't be anyone else I'd be awakening. And it's funny, I've actually used Awakening Gems on three of my Mystic characters already, because they are the only Awakening Gems I've ever pulled. So Ghost Rider, Magic, and Mordo all got an Awakening Gem from me. Uh, I managed to awaken my Iron Fist from Arena, I believe. Uh, I'm not too sure. I actually can't even remember if I've actually pulled him from a crystal. I think I might have actually got him both times from Arena. Iron Fist is a big favourite of mine, as a lot of people would know. Then, if we go to Cosmic... Um, if I want Prestige, then it's definitely Phoenix. But again, not really many worthy options there. So, I, I actually think if I pull a Cosmic, it'll be definitely getting saved for Hyperion, because uh, I think the only other new champion recently is Medusa, and yeah, I don't don't really think she's worth that. And then finally, if we go to Tech, we have Star-Lord, who I've always said I'm skeptical about, but maybe it'd be worth putting an Awakening Gem in him, just so that I can test him out and really see how much damage he can do, and then knowing me, the my opinion will probably change and he'll probably become one of my favourites because he is a cool character. I just don't know if he's... if I'd rate him as highly as a lot of other people do. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So I'll go uh, just to my profile here. Uh, as you can see, so close to that 300k. I think last time I uh, did a video for you guys, I was around 150k to 200k. Um, so when I do my next crystal opening, which... I'm hoping to be a live stream. That'll be getting me to the 300k, so that'll be a pretty cool achievement. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you liked it. All of my links are in the description, and like I said, in the next day or so, I will be doing a live stream just to test things out and see if I can figure out how it all works and get things all nice and set up and prepared to do my crystal opening, and hopefully we'll be able to get a featured Stark Spidey if I decide to do that. And if not, hopefully Gwenpool or Hyperion would be lovely. But yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you have your notifications on and ready for that live stream. And I will see you all when I make the next one. Catch you later, guys.